So this is a look that I call Sunshine and um, it involves really cheap makeup and uh, two shades of eyeshadow and um, a black eyeliner. That's really all. A black, um, I have a liquid eyeliner, but you could do it with not liquid. So um, I'm going to show you how I did it and uh, hope that you go on to use really cheap makeup from Walmart or whatever. Um, I mean, not really cheap. It's not like dollar store stuff or anything, but it's not some of those brands we don't need to talk about because that gives them publicity. Um, yeah, so love it. Rock it. So, um, my foundation is really just going to be this. It's lotion. Any kind of lotion will pretty much work for me, but, um, I usually use this kind or some other kind of Ovino with no fragrance because I like it. Smells good, feels good. Some other popular ones are like Lubriderm and then there's like just a store brand. But I'm just going to put it all over my face. And the biggest reason I'm using lotion is because the weather is hot right now. So, um, my face is really dry and cracky. So just I'm going to put it on and hope my face stays not so cracky during the day. No, get it in my nose here. My forehead. Those are the driest parts for me. A lot of people get zits there, so if it's not dry for you and you get zits there all the time, you might not want to put lotion there. I don't use a lot of stuff, and I don't think brands are super important, but this is just a liquid eyeliner. You can see it holding it in front of the camera. Um, I'll hold it in front of my face too. It's really small and um, it's made by CoverGirl. At least I think it is. It's kind of rubbed off. And it opens like this. So you have to, all the ink is inside the handle. To be kind of conscious of that. So I'm just going to pull my eyelid and draw a line along the top of it. Same on this side. Um, then I'm going to shake it again because it keeps it nice and dark. And I'm going to get underneath. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm going to go under, not on the waterline, but under, underneath my lashes even. And I'm going to connect it and just kind of go like that. And then I'll do it on this side. Left handed. Everything's in a mirror, but I'm using my left hand if you can't tell. And I'm gonna connect it again. Sometimes you mess up, but the lotion on your fingers still, so it kind of comes off easier. And then you fix this a little middle and um make this line a little better you, you're gonna go back over it later anyway so it doesn't matter if it's like super perfect but anyway um i have this cool it's like uh it's a cover roll but i just get it at walmart it doesn't really matter what colors you get but i'm gonna use this orange oops i just dropped the orange and I'm gonna use 
yellow or gold, I guess. I dropped it again. <laughs> so first I'm going to use the gold. And I'm um, just going to get some of my thing. This is a look I do a lot. And people have asked me how I do my cool eyeshadow, so I thought I'd tell you. It's really pretty simple. The lotion on my face is really grabbing the eyeshadow. So there's no real need for any kind of primer or anything like that. It's just grabbing it by itself. And I don't know if you can tell, but this is a kind of sparkly gold. And I'm just going to put it all the way up. Not dark all the way up. Like, it's really dark down here, like thick. And then I kind of made it lighter up here. You can probably see that, though. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Basically, you'll just use what's left over every time to go up there after you get it on your lid and go up the eyebrow. And then that orange color I showed you. It's like a, I don't know, what kind of orange is that? You tell me. My camera colors are pretty accurate. So I'm going to use the same brush from that palette, just the other side of it. Nothing fancy, guys. I don't know why so many YouTubers use such fancy schmancy things. But what I'm doing is I'm in the corner and I'm just doing a little in the corner. And then along where I lined my eyelid. And then I'll do that on this side. And you want to stop like halfway along where you lined it, like go to about here. And be careful, only get it where your eye goes in deeper. You don't want it on the middle, like the bump of your eyeball. For this look, you might sometimes, but for this particular look. And then I'm gonna take my finger, this finger, my ring finger, and I'm gonna put it in the orange, like this. Oops, I just flipped the thing off. See, there's not that much on my finger. And I'm gonna go like this. I don't know if you can see what I did. I'm gonna do it again on the other eye. So, just a little. A little more there, and then like this. And what I'm doing is I feel the bridge, like this bone, with my finger, and I'm just going underneath it. Rub that off. Maybe a little more on this side. And there. Then um. I'm going to take my eyeliner again, and I'm going to go back over this line. And the reason I go over it once before and once after is so that it's really easy when you go back over it. To just trace what you did before, rather than... Maybe messing up and then having to wash off all of your eyeshadow. Well, not all of it, but probably most of it. And do it again, all over again. There. And now, um, if you want, 
you, it's not necessary, but you can put on some of your favorite mascara, whatever it is. I don't have a favorite, I just like buy a different one every time. So, like this one curls. Because I have pretty long lashes, they're just not very curly. I don't own an eyelash curler, but I will sit here after I put it on and like push it up with my finger. That might be stupid to you, but hey, it works. And I don't have to own an eyelash curler. It's like putting gel in your hair, you know? You put it in and then you style it. It's, it's eyelashes, they're just hair. People used to heat up their eyelash curlers and then people started burning their eyes so they don't tend to do that very often anymore. But, I mean, that would just be the same concept as a curling iron, right? So, all it is is styling more hair. Ow, see, I poked myself in the eye. If that were a hot eyelash curler, I could have just made myself blind. See how they're curly now? They weren't as curly before. Now I'm gonna make them black. So it kind of leaves, it's not dry as clear, like Elmer's or whatever. Just kind of makes them longer too. You can do the bottom if you want. I don't usually actually do this, but just to show you what I do, when I do do it, there it is, and then I want to wipe some off if you get any, if you get in and grab a few stray eyebrows. And for lip gloss, you can use like anything. The coolest thing I ever really do with my lips. I'll show you the coolest thing since I'm not getting a video. I'm like pink eyeshadow. Pink eyeshadow. And um, put it on my finger. Oops. There. Just light pink. And on the very top part of my lip. I go like that. And you just, you're making a highlight, essentially. Instead of lining your lips with something darker, just making the top part lighter. You keep going little bit by little bit. Just on the very top lip, of, not top lip, top of your bottom lip. And there, it's on there really lightly. It's not making a huge impact. And then if you really want, you can go like this and put a little dot there and a little dot there, but they're really not gonna show up. <laughs> and then go over it with some kind of gloss. Start in the middle. Start in the middle and work out. Stop the tummy.
so here it is um, I call it sunshine and uh, yeah I hope you like it